Okay guys, so the other day I ran my classic benchmark of Claude Code Opus 4 inside Claude Code. It's the website, you've probably seen it on my, on my channel if you've watched my channel before. Effectively, this was what Claude Sonnet 3.7, when Claude 3.7 was released, made with the exact same prompt that I'm going to show you today. Now, the way this basically works is I ran this code or this prompt inside Claude Code. So if I go all the way to the top of this conversation with Claude Code, right, I actually forgot that I'd run this. So I said, give me the command to make a new Next.js project. And then I said, I just created a new Next.js project inside uh, this folder, uh, 909. And then I gave it my install settings so that it knew my install settings, etc. And then I gave it the prompt. Now the prompt is from my school community. You can either get it in my school community or you can look through my channel and you can find this prompt for free. This is the prompt here. It's prompt to create a service-based website on Next.js. I ran this prompt and I showed you Rolls Royce Rental dot it. This was what Claude uh, Sonic 3.7 made, as I said before. The Italian works. This did require a lot of further prompting. This was not perfect when it first came out. And I'm going to show you what Opus 4 did inside Claude code instead, right? So this is what it did. Like I said, I actually just let it run. I completely forgot that it had even been running. So the first thing it did, which I absolutely love, is it created these to this to-do list. It also, you can see here, read the documentation to a certain extent, maybe not massively, but it, it fetched the Next.js docs at least once. It created a to-do set, and then it just started banging out code. Like I said, I actually forgot that this was even running. And I'm going to show you the kind of end result here, right? So you can see it used Deep Burgundy. I've talked about this a few times. Most models automatically just use gold and silver, and that's it. However, Opus 4 and Sonic 4 seem to have a slightly more refined um, designer mind about them. They use Playfair. Every single model uses Playfair. I'm not really sure why. And yeah, this is kind of the whole process here. You can see there's no secondary prompts from me whatsoever. Right, so we can go all the way down here. It actually looks like it's fixing errors itself, which is pretty nice. Oh, it actually built the project. That's really cool as well. I didn't realize that. So it built the project. It just kept going. This is completely autonomous. This is the best I've ever seen, right? And this is what I was talking about in yesterday's video. If you watch yesterday's video, I was talking about this here, which is reward hacking, where a model says that it's done because it's uh, taken a shortcut or it's cheated or whatever to get to the point where it can technically say it's done, but in like a developer's eyes or a client eyes or in your eyes, it's not actually done, right? So you can actually see this evidenced in this um, in this setup and also Claude Code, honestly guys, I cannot say this enough. It's absolutely amazing. It truly is incredible. So everything under here, you might say, oh, Hamish, you prompted it, blah, blah, blah. This, I was doing something different here, you can see, Hey Claude, this is my code base right now. I want to start looking at making things more agentic and working in the background. So when someone turns on SEO on the main dashboard page, it just goes away, blah, 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 right? This is a completely different conversation on a completely different project, right? So the, the Next.js project ended here. I did not prompt anything else. It did everything, Opus 4 did everything inside Claude code, completely independent of any other input. So let's see. Let's see the final result here, guys. So I'm just going to give this a refresh. Look at that animation. Not, not everything's perfect. I understand that. Okay, I do understand that it's not perfect. But this is by far the best looking site, or at least the best looking potential for a site that I've ever seen. Like, look at the quality of this UI UX. It's actually crazy. It's way better than anything else that I've seen. Look at it. Look at it. It's actually insane. Every little tiny detail is amazing, right? Obviously, the colors are a bit messed up. I'm going to see if the pages and things like that work in just a second. There's some spacing issues, but like you can very easily vibe code this into like a completely finished format. Let's see if the pages actually work.
Okay, I must admit, I was not expecting these to work, but they do work. Uh, the service page is not quite as good, I wouldn't say. Oh no, these are good. This is very good. The service page is very good. The location page is not that good. Again, spacing issues. Again, kind of formatting issues. Again, there's um, issues with colors, etc. But I mean, it's it's done like it, it's put in the extra effort. You can really see that at no point it said, okay, I'm done. Let's move on. It finished every single little thing. Let's see if the little things work, like slash IT, for example. Slash IT does work. Very nice. There's the, the things up here don't work properly, but that's okay. Let's see if all the buttons work. Everything is actually in Italian. The SEO is done. Matrimonio no leggio rosorois con autista in campagna. Yep. I mean, perfect. All of the technical stuff is perfect. There's a, f a few issues, like I said, and, and as you can see, just with colors and things, but that's not like, I'm not going to massively mark it down because of a few formatting issues. You can very easily vibe code this. Even the scroller is gold. I've never even seen that. I didn't even know you could do that. That's so cool, actually. What the hell? I love that. Um, I am genuinely extremely impressed by this. This is proof to me that this is the next level up. And also that Claude Code has this beautiful agentic system inside it that just nails things. I really wish it perfected CSS. Um, I might add like a secondary prompt, prompt or like system prompt or something that just says be especially careful with, you know, um, not having colors that uh, don't contrast or colors that you can't see on other colors and just things like that. So let me know what you guys genuinely think about this. Um, I, in my experience, I've never used something that's intelligent as Claude Code with Opus 4. I think you're, you're, it, if you're not using it, if you're using anything else right now, then you're sleeping on it. Honestly, the max plan, Claude max plan, right? What you need to understand about the Claude max plan is it's $200 a month, but you don't pay for the usage of Opus, okay? So you can probably use, I don't even know, I would say $5,000 worth of Opus credits just by paying for uh, Max Pro. And then you get Claude Code with Opus set. I haven't hit any problems with rate limits. I've been coding nonstop as well. So I think, honestly, get rid of all other AI subscriptions like ChatGPT and your original Claude plan. I don't know, whatever else you're paying for. Just pay for this and make it do everything for you. You can completely customize this with MCPs, etc. And you can see here, you can access Cloud Code directly in your terminal. And you get up to 20 more usage than Pro. And you can basically just use Opus for as much as you want without having to worry about, oh my god, my bill for Anthropic is 1,500 this month. Trust me, I've had that when I'm building a lot of applications, it adds up extremely quickly. This is the best value for money. The one, the $200 plan is the best value for money, in my opinion, by far. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I think we can all agree that that was incredibly impressive in terms of how good the website was. Like I said, this was vibe coded a bit to make it look perfect. It didn't come out looking perfect. There were many, many issues with the original build as well. It's fairly normal. And also, just one more thing, the really cool thing is that it actually built the project. The difference is clear between the two websites. I just really, I really, really do prefer the design here. Just obviously, it does need to be vibe coded, just like this original website did need to be vibe coded as well. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.